What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. Good morning to some out there. It's the Earth Master here on this Saturday, December 10th, 2022. It's about 11.52 a.m. here, California time. And uh, some activity out here along the West Coast once again kicking up. Uh, live stream is currently down. Had some uh, little bit of power outages here affecting the region. Uh, so I'm going to do an update here just on the side, upload it, and then the live stream will be back up once the wind calms down. Uh, of course, last night we did see some activity off the coast here, Northern California, 4.9 coming in uh, early evening time period. Since then, we have seen a little bit of adjustment down south as well, just off the Baja California coast with a 4.4 coming in just after midnight. So a little bit of uptick in between these zones here. That includes, of course, the coastline here of California, the plate boundary itself. Seen some movement here off the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault. And a little bit of swarming here north of the Garlock Fault Shear Zone near the, uh, just outside of Bakersfield area to the east up in the hills, up in the mountains there of the southern Sierra Nevadas. Uh, nothing really going on across the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault for now. Uh, still kind of watching that uh, activity here in Oklahoma. A little bit of movement uh, up north uh, of the, uh, well, south, I should say, of the Medford area. A couple twos coming in overnight and yesterday as well. Uh, a look at the bigger picture across the globe or across the flat scale model earth shows some movement in the puerto rico area kind of ramping up right around the puerto rico trench with a couple threes coming in to the area this morning also into the south america area a couple fives and some fours kicking off here overnight and this morning early this morning along the peru chile trench uh, there's this earthquake here from yesterday actually this was from this morning about four o'clock 5.0 into the south sandwich islands there at about 78 kilometers deep into that subduction zone. Uh, quick look at the big island Hawaii, still showing some unusual activity here across the Kilauea volcano. Uh, of course, Mauna Loa is, um, uh, well, when I check out the USGS site here, their volcano hazards, they are currently down. Uh, their live stream is down, their network is down. I'm unable to access the uh, volcano program here. And that includes also the hazard notification system. Uh, so that is not functioning either. So something's going on here with the USGS uh, network and I'm unable to check any recent updates here on Mauna Loa. Either way, um, by strange, a strange earthquake activity, I'm talking about uh, the uptick in movement here across Mauna Loa or the uh, Kilauea volcano down here. Uh, it seems like that has really ramped up since uh, Mauna Loa has been erupting. And these are uh, somewhat two different networks here, obviously two different volcanoes. Uh, but I think something's bigger brewing down here in this area. Uh, last time I checked when the stream was up and running, the live stream, it looked like, looked like things were still pretty calm uh, across the Fisher 3 level. But we'll check that a little bit later tonight and uh, keep an eye on the continual movement down here uh, around the Pahala and the uh, Kilauea Volcano Zones. Uh, westward over here across the Western Pacific and adjacent plates shows some movement this morning. Indonesia, some activity there in China as well. Uh, really no further movement down here along the Kermadec Trench up north around the Kuro Kamchaka Trench. Things look pretty quiet there as well. A uh, quick glance at the Earthquake 3D globe here uh, shows some uh, very small, well, some smaller fours and threes here across the area of the Kermadec Trench. Nothing major overnight though, just some deeper movement down along that section. Uh, the big uptick today looks like it's across the Indonesia area once again and areas around the Philippines. So we'll watch that possibly for some further uh, large-scale activity. Uh, further west, again, there's that one near China and a couple other earthquakes out towards the uh, Middle Eastern region. Yellowstone National Park, the super volcano in Wyoming, pretty calm, pretty clear. I'm not really seeing any earthquake activity out here across the board at all. Quick glance at the solar weather activity. We have been seeing some seas pop off, some sea flares. Uh, from a couple different regional sunspots. It is starting to crackle and pop and get a little bit more active there on the sun uh, from these numerous sunspots. Right now, 3153 looks to be the main culprit here of the possibilities of some flaring, uh, but also can't uh, count out this regional sunspot up here. It's getting a lot of intermixing here of the fields and the polarities of those magnetic structures. Also a new regional sunspot here. Coming around the bend, that looks uh, possibly promising here in the coming days uh, for some further instability there with the magnetic structure. Uh, so for the meantime, 85% chance of a C flare, 30 for the M flare, 
and 1% for the X-Flare. Expecting calm conditions, though, for the foreseeable future. No major CMEs are directed. No major coronal holes that will put elevated conditions lowered for the most part. But birds are going crazy again. As uh, far as the three-day geomagnetic forecast goes, that's kind of looking pretty calm. Uh, across the Aurora forecast, though, things are a little bit unsettled up there at the higher latitudes. And obviously uh, down south on the southern end of the globe near Antarctica. Uh, that is due to uh, a little bit of un instability here. BZ component tilting south slightly, allowing some a uh, little bit of solar charged particles to flow in and create some of those unsettled conditions there across the area. All right, folks, uh, once again, live stream is down, but I will be bringing it up here once the wind goes down. We've had wind gusts up to about 45, 50 miles an hour here, and it did just bring down the live stream here shortly, but I will bring it back up. Uh, as soon as we get a little relief here from the winds. Either way, rainy and windy in California, and I'm loving it. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on. Have a good one, folks. Peace out.